in continuation to our video on VCM. Here we are going to derive formula for velocity at A, D and B. So let's begin with A. Now as mentioned earlier, tension whenever we are rotating, when we are rotating this way, I am just reducing the velocity, I am reducing it, reducing it, reducing it, reducing it. It comes like this and just crosses it. Alright, so now see, now the velocity is more, so I am reducing, 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 and that. That was the velocity, right? Just that velocity where it just crosses the point A. Alright, so, so that's why what happens is it just crosses point A. That means the tension in this string is hardly anything. Alright, okay. So, so, T A is 0, fine. So what happens is, now at this position, so if I talk about this position now, at this position, M G is acting downwards. The tension is always acting downwards. I already have explained you, that whenever it is there, the tension is down here, downwards. When it is like this, tension is here. When it is like this, tension is upwards, all right. So when here, tension is downwards, when here, tension is towards where it is tied to and when down tension is towards up all right so that situation is explained okay fine now what happens here is tension here is zero because it just crosses point a all right it's initially it was going fast and then we reduce 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 and just so when it, if that velocity is such the tension also at that state would be nearly zero all right, so we assume tension to be zero, TA to be zero. MG is downward. So what's the equation? The equation says that MG plus TA, now we know tension is zero, but assume it to be tension, MG plus TA is providing the centripetal force. That's the reason why it is moving around. All right, so MG plus TA is providing, MG plus TA is providing centripetal force. Now we know TA doesn't exist. So mg is equal to mva square upon r, therefore mg is equal to va square upon r, therefore uh, what I do is I take m, m cancels, I take r this side, so v square is equal to rg, so rooting both the sides, what we end up with is va is equal to root rg, so the velocity at point a would be root rg, alright, okay, now we found out velocity at point A is root RG. All right. Now it's very easy to find acceleration because we know formula for acceleration is what? It's mv square over R. That's the formula. So acceleration would be what? V square over R. So here it is V A square over R. Acceleration is V A square over R. Now V A square we found out is root RG. We just substitute over there root disappears, RR gets cancelled, so acceleration is G. So we are all set with all the values of A for V, A and D. Fine. Let's proceed now to point D. Now point D, obviously point D is what? Point D is this. Alright. So let's get into it. So in case of point D, the logic see one thing i intend to tell about this now it's very much essential because you get lots of ideas about lots of things whether it be in terms of energy or it be in terms of formula or in terms of conversion you get lots of knowledge about it all right now let's try and understand what happens at d while finding velocity at d all right so this is what we intend to find here e d all right how is it root 3 rg now see whenever uh, whenever it is moving whenever the point mass is i can depict please don't assume this to be point mass this is a huge point mass okay but assume it to be a point mass now whenever the point mass is moving this way now conservation of energy we know right so what so energy at this point is equal to energy at this point is equal to energy at this point is equal to energy at this point and so on and so forth conservation of energy now only the thing is 
when we are here at that time you know the height this is there as well as this is there so it has got lots of potential energy whereas where kinetic energy is less so when we come down over here at this point potential energy has got converted into kinetic energy as we keep moving up like this the kinetic energy keeps on getting converted into potential energy and so on and so forth so it is maximum potential energy here minimum kinetic energy over here and as we come down over, over here the trend is reverse that is it is maximum kinetic energy over here and minimal potential energy here okay so considering that now let's talk about point d at point d total energy at b at b is equal to total energy at d conservation of energy right okay so now let's try and talk about total energy at point b at point b it is half m v b square it is half m uh, v b square right half m v b square plus p e b potential energy at b so kinetic energy plus potential energy at this point kinetic energy plus potential energy at this point is equal to kinetic energy and potential energy at this point that's what we write over here half m b d square plus potential energy at d right okay so jot it down now we know potential energy at this point is zero so it is zero and half m v d square plus m g r why is it m g r at this point at this point we are talking so when we come at this point when we come at total energy at b kinetic energy is half m v b square it has velocity so half m v b square but potential energy is zero zero all right but when we come at this point what's the situation it is half m v d square whatever the velocity is which we are going to find v d square plus m g r potential energy. why m g r because it is at a height r all right so it is at a height r so it has that energy m g r all right m g r it's at this height right so it is m g r fine so what do we do both the sides we multiplied by 2 that's the better way of doing both the sides we multiply by 2 all right so this goes this goes and 2 remains here all right so it becomes 2 m g r all right and this is v d square so here what remains okay i'll what i'll do is this goes this goes this goes this goes and here what we end up with is 2 m g r why because we multiplied two throughout with two so this two disappeared this two also disappeared because we multiplied with two all right we multiplied with two i hope it's clear so this two disappeared but when since we multiplied so two came over here all right got this all right so we got two mgr and then m common everywhere so m gets cancelled so what we end up with is vb square is equal to vd square plus 2rg 2rg all right so what we do is since we are interested in finding vd 2gr we take it this side so it becomes vd square is equal to vb square minus 2rg now we already have found out that vb square is 5rg that we have already found out so 5rg minus 2rg gives you 3rg but it is square so we have got a root so it is root 3rg now as we did for a here also acceleration is what v square over r so here it is vd square over r so we put in that root 3rg which becomes 3rg rr gets cancelled so 3g so we are through with vd having value of root 3rg and a is equal to acceleration is equal to acceleration is equal to 3g okay